What a reversal of fortune. Redemption is a funny thing for a 24-year-old in the midst of his sophomore season. But Kyle Stanley's journey has been anything but conventional. As a teenager, the Gig Harbor Washington native chose to go across the country to Clemson University, where he earned ACC Player of the Year and All-America honors as a freshman. It was kind of an odd choice going from the West Coast to South Carolina, but one of the things that really drew me to the program was if you look at you know, guys that have gone there, they have really good representation on tour. At the end of the day, it was kind of a business decision for me. I just thought that, that Clemson was going to be the best place for me to prepare myself to get out here. Stanley finished tied for ninth at qualifying school in 2010, earning his PGA Tour card. During his rookie season of 2011, Stanley posted four top 30 finishes in his first seven starts. Yeah, I got off to a pretty good start and I was making cuts and wasn't really playing that well on the weekend. It was my first year and you have a tendency to really pay attention to the money list and how much you're making each week and this and that. You know, you get a text message on your phone after every event kind of telling you where you stand. I got the text, I was 125th, so it was kind of the first time since I'd, you know, gotten status on another nationwide tour where and I was in jeopardy of kind of being outside the line. And that was kind of a turning point for me. I started playing a lot better and actually turned what was a pretty average year at the start into a pretty good one. Kyle Stanley now for a share of the lead. Fearless. That is what he's been. Stanley fired an impressive four rounds in the 60s at the John Deere Classic, but faltered on the 72nd hole. Tell you, he hit that like a winner. And then found himself on the wrong side of one of the year's most memorable shots. Looking good. Oh, my goodness. For three in a row. Steve Stricker. It was a tough way to lose, but you got to give him credit for that shot he had on 18 and that putt. That was pretty good. I remember watching it in the scoring trailer afterwards, and you know, I think there's kind of a moment of shock, maybe. I think, if anything, I just took a lot of confidence away from it. And I think anything that week kind of told me I had the game to win out here. Fast forward seven months. Stanley entered the final round of the 2012 Farmers Insurance Open with a five-shot lead and victory in his sights once again. The first three rounds were pretty flawless. I played really good golf, and I putted well. I think that was kind of a difference maker for me that week. And then the unthinkable happened. That one will spin. Perfect. Oh, easy, Whoa, easy, now. easy. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You gotta be kidding. You gotta be kidding me. The force. It's all right. It's all right. You what, sure? do you, what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? Oh, oh this is incredible. Man. It's tough to put four rounds of almost perfect ball striking together. It's your worst nightmare of this putt. Six shot lead, and now you got a whole this putt to win. Oh my goodness. It's going to a playoff. On that last day, maybe I struggled a little bit, but you know, I still hung in there. It was a really tough way to finish. What might have broken some only fueled his determination. I didn't want that week or that shot or that hole to define me as a, as a player. And that was a big motivation for me, not really to prove other people wrong, but just kind of to prove to myself that I could bounce back. The next week, Stanley rallied from eight strokes back in the final round of the Waste Management Phoenix Open for his first career PGA Tour title. Just makes you feel so proud for him when you think of what he went through to, to be able to do that. It was kind of surreal just to kind of be in that position. I can't say I expected to be there a week later, but it was nice that I was. I actually liked the fact that I had four feet to win because it made it a little bit more special because I missed one of the similar length the week before. It was a huge relief to kind of get that monkey off my back. I think the biggest thing for me was just, you know, kind of showing myself that I had what it took to bounce back and recover from that. Winning the tournament was special, but, you know, just to kind of know that I had the mental toughness to put what happened the week before behind me was huge. It's hard to put a timetable on winning and success. I think all you can do is really work hard and try to prepare yourself to get there. It's hard to win. It's really hard to win out here. I don't think people realize how difficult it is. The competition's tough. For me, I've been lucky. It's been a pretty steady progression. I feel like each year I've gotten better. For 24, I've had a lot of really good things happen, and we're just getting started. So that's the exciting part about it.